Alright, this is the first YouTube video on uh, my account. Uh, if you don't know me already, from my Instagram or TikTok, or whatever, my name is Jake. Um, you know, I just do fitness, motivation, mindset, all that, you know, that kind of niche. Uh, I do want to venture into more things, uh, just like crazy, like calisthenic shit. I've been practicing that a lot. I just bought a pair of uh, wooden rings, so I'm going to do some, some shit with that. Uh, but today's video, I just want to talk about, if you're in high school, what you should be doing, like what I, I would have told myself, if I can go back and tell myself, like as a 15 year old, 16 year old, whatever. Uh, I did kind of get caught off in high school, so I had grade 9 and 10, one semester of 11, and then I didn't go back to school uh, at all. I just, you know, I went straight into to the workforce and started recording some fitness stuff, but I never, you know, I never enjoyed the content I was making because I, I'm very hard on myself when I'm, I'm doing things so like I record a whole bunch of things and most of that stuff just ends up getting deleted like a lot of pictures and stuff um, especially when I was younger like body dysmorphia and stuff you know everybody's got that now so much I don't really care but I'm still hard on myself especially with the videos and stuff I really really want to make things good that's why I did buy like this camera that I'm recording on invested money in that because you know I want to make it into you know I want to make this become a passion or this is my passion I want to make this into uh, a living like I want to you know motivate people inspire people to do to make content or just you know become the best version of yourself that you can be that's that's my main goal because growing up that's you know majority of the things I saw especially on like social media and stuff um, you know I grew up my dad inspired me to start working out that's how I got into all of this and I've always like kind of been known for that like grade school high school like the guy who worked out like the you know, there were a few Jakes I'd be called like big Jake or whatever right just some some stupid shit um, I, I always like never thought I was big anyways you know but uh, I try to humble myself but yeah so what I would tell myself if I was younger you know I had a very very similar mindset to the mindset that I have today it's a very like disciplined focused you know get shit done you know be very strict on things that you do uh, you know go on diets work out every single day better yourself in every single way I've been working out since I was about 12 so what 19 now so what six seven years uh, obviously I've been going hard since then but you know I got the basics down and all that stuff I was eating a lot I'd say probably like grade 10 I started going really heavy so you know uh, about four four years ago I started taking it seriously and you know it's been a journey since then to be honest and I always wanted to do something with like YouTube social media something like that I just never you know like I had in the back of my mind ever since I was like 13 14 and I'm just glad I'm actually doing it now, being more consistent, especially on uh, Instagram and stuff. Um, yeah, I would just tell myself to, to keep going. And I wish I would have started earlier. I wish I would have just, you know, stuck with my gut and actually did it. You, on the iPhone, you know, I feel like a lot of people do too. That, oh, you need a camera and shit. You really don't. You really don't. But I just saw it as a good investment for what I wanted to do. And... You know, save the money. I've been working for the past few years, ever since COVID, to be honest. I saved up, got some camera equipment. It's up. It's only up from here. But what I would tell myself is, you know, I, I definitely partied. Like, you know, I, I did all the things that you're supposed to, supposed to do in high school. But in my opinion, if you're listening to this and you're in high school, is if you know what you want to do, if you have a passion and you're really like passionate about it, do it. Fuck all the parties, fuck all the drinking, fuck all, you know, getting the girls, or if you're a girl, fuck all, like, trying to get guys and shit. Just focus on what you love, because if you love something, you can turn it into uh, a career. And that that's the crazy thing about the day and age we live in today, that you can really, you can do whatever you want. For example, like, fitness. Fitness is such a huge niche right now, and, you know, some people might be like, oh, it won't stay forever. Fitness cannot go away because it's something like, it's like food. You know when you eat food, say you eat a whole bunch of food and then you're like, oh, I can't eat anymore. But then the next day you're hungry. It's the same thing. Fitness, you know, you work out, you're tired. The next day, okay, I'm back to get it. Same with the, the, the content you're watching. Like, I'm obviously very uh, invested into, like, fitness and all that stuff. So I'm watching content and stuff, uh, you know, to inspire me or whatever. That stuff doesn't go away. That You can't, that's a lifestyle thing, right? But yeah, fitness, fitness is here to stay. Like, there's so many things that can you know content can just be you know created and created and created you know there's so many creative people out there that are doing a whole bunch of different things you know there's a whole bunch you got like lifestyle things you can do motivational things educational there's so there's so many different niches and there's so many like creative ways you can put your own twist onto it um, especially personality like videos like these people getting to know who you are right another thing I would tell myself listen to the voice in your head that you push away because I feel like a lot of the times and a lot of people 
they they know what they should be doing most of the time and they push it away because they sacrifice the long term for the short term for example like going on your phone for countless hours youtube netflix whatever when you can be doing something better with your time and this isn't only content creation i like the fact that you know you can create content doing whatever you love i like doing that i like to be able to motivate people to you know make content uh, be better you know all these things just you know follow your passion maybe maybe you're into sports maybe you're into cooking maybe you're into maybe you are into school i'm not the biggest advocate for school because school's not for me a lot of times i say you know school's made for you to become an employee and all this stuff and people take it the wrong way they say that oh like what about like people we need people to work and stuff of course you need people to work but if that's not what you want to do because school is not for everybody this the recording making content this isn't for everybody right school is not for everybody uh, working at nine to five isn't for everybody but some people it is some people enjoy you know working those 12 hour days coming home and then like doing whatever watching tv and then going to bed and waking up some people are just w wired like that they're programmed like that to you know wake up go do work that nine to five and come home and they enjoy it they because they're creating and i get it because i'm in a trade right so in a trade you're building you're creating and i i tile floors i tile showers stairs whatever when i first started working there i didn't like it because i was laboring but once i got into it once i once i laid my first floor i felt like like i don't know if it's a masculine thing it could be maybe not just because like creating things i mean i'm, I'm, I'm sure uh you know women could find uh, satisfaction that too for sure but you know you don't see as many women in the trade uh as as you do men creating something like that like laying a floor like you look at it and you're just like you, you get some sort of like dopamine rush right and the more you do it you know the more you get it obviously it goes lower the more you do it but you love you you fall in love with with what you're doing you fall in love with creating something and i i do enjoy my job but I don't enjoy the nine to five aspect. I don't enjoy working for someone else. I love my boss, great boss, great uh, workers, employees I work with, but I don't enjoy the lifestyle of working that nine to five. You know what I'm saying? So for anyone out there who feels the same way, you know, there's many things to do, you know, not just content creation. You can, you can become an editor. You can become, you know, you can create money online. You can become a drop shipper. You can do e-commerce. You can do copywriting you can do you can do a whole bunch of things you don't have to be shown you don't have to be showing yourself you don't have to be in front of a camera you don't have to be talking you know all this stuff it's just something i i enjoy something that i could see myself doing in the future because ever since a young age i'd see motivational stuff in grade school you know i don't know if you guys went but we'd go to like some motivational speeches and stuff and like that kind of like motivated me to actually want to speak like i want to speak eventually maybe not maybe not in front of crowds or whatever but just like you know you always hear those clips on instagram or tiktok like the audios i've created a few myself i want people to like re redo that reuse that and stuff because that that to me like i feel like that's such a fulfilling thing like you know people hearing that and then them getting up and you know going to the gym or getting up and going for a run because that's what happens to me when i hear those things like i'll be watching it and, and then and then something in my head sparks i'm like all right let's do it or maybe i'll go start editing or something just because i'm like laying on my bed on my phone catching catching myself in that loop again right because you know we're not all perfect you know we all fall back into that that trap another thing i would tell myself is don't care about what people think and that's such a big thing because so many people do and I, I have, I mean, everyone has, right? Especially in high school, you're in that environment where like, it's like you, you have some like reputation or like status, right? And you're all like 13, 14 year old kids running around. And if you're in high school, trust me, you will figure this out after the fact. Maybe you won't right away because if you go into college or whatever, but say you don't go into college, you want to take a year off or you go into a different career path or whatever, you'll notice it sooner than others that might figure it out after college or whatever. But it really doesn't matter, right? Like I used to care so much so much and i started like creating content and posting it during high school like, it was kind of during the covid phase but i'd see people here and there right still and, like i was so like i cared so much for for no reason right that's like a fear that pushes you away from everything because once you stop giving a fuck you start going on up bro it's like why were you waiting that long it's almost like you know when someone's in your life and they're holding you down like like an anchor right you know you could be doing so much better without them and you know you want to cut them off but you don't want to cut them off because they're you know like they're your best friend they're funny they do all this stuff but they're not really helping you in any way right but then once you cut them you're like why did it take me so long or say you're in a relationship and like you, you want to break up with them but you don't because they're like toxic to you or whatever but like you love them or whatever right but then you finally do it and you're like why did i wait so long like you know what i mean that's kind of how it is once you start you know doing whatever the fuck you want to do Life just, you know, starts getting better because you start living life on your own terms. 
and living life on your terms your own terms is a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing that i hope all of you you know start to do because you see you see it mainly in high school right because you you, you care because you're around these people every single day you have like a picture right when people think of you that's who you are right and whatever you're shown in high school that's kind of who you are right or parties and stuff you know it's really stupid but that's just how it is you know I mean, some people, you know, that, that that's their glory days. And if that's your glory days, change your lifestyle, change your habits, you know, do something better with your life. Because honestly, those four years are not, you know, anything really. If those are your glory years, it's pretty sad, you know. You should only be advancing. Every single year of my life, I look back and I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, I just, I'm in a much better place every single year. And if you are not, something needs to change. Something really fucking needs to change because you're in a... You're in a position where you're stuck in a loop and you're gonna keep replaying that loop and loop and loop and loop until you're fucking 60 and then, you know, <clears throat> you're old and you're still working or maybe you just retired. Best thing you can do is find something that you love to do and make a fuck ton of money out of it. Really, honestly. They always say the, the some of the five people you hang around are who you are, right? Surround yourself with people who are like-minded. If you keep hanging around those people who don't have the same vision as you and it's okay like you don't have to it doesn't have to be any burn bridges right if you keep hanging around those people eventually you know you're just gonna keep relapsing back into that into that lifestyle if you cut them off and you know only surround yourself with people who have the same vision as you you're gonna propel because on those days where you don't feel like doing shit those people are gonna boost you because if you're like-minded and you're disciplined it's game over right another thing i would say to myself is enjoy the journey and i know I'm still like in the journey. I would even say like the beginning stages because I'm I'm nowhere near where I want to be. But it's always a good reminder, right? And always a good thing to say. I say I say I wish I would have told myself, and I continuously tell myself nowadays, present time, that enjoy the journey, enjoy the small things because it's so easy to get caught up in in some bullshit, right? Maybe like whatever you're doing, you're, you're chipping away at it, but it's not doing as good as it could. That day will come, right? Those tasks that you put in, the work that you put in, it will eventually pay off if you consistently chip at it, right? It's not gonna happen if you're, you know, throwing darts at random places, right? It's gonna happen if you're throwing the dart in the exact same place all the time. Consistency, right? And the last thing, to be honest, that I would tell myself, to not chase girls or if you're a girl chase boys because honestly it's such a waste of time dating is such a waste of time in my opinion unless your your goal is to really get married and you know that shit right away which you know i don't advise i advise on working working on yourself figuring out who you are captivating your mind becoming the best version of yourself before you can you know because how can you love someone if you don't love yourself first you need to be able to fully understand and fully evolve your your human literally it's like like a game literally like evolve it fully and then go out because if you're your best version, you're only gonna find the best person for you. That's how I see it, at least. A lot of people just go out and try to date a whole bunch of people or whatever, you know, they break up onto the next person. And in my opinion, it's such a waste of time. I feel like it's just like a, a void they're trying to fill, right? Especially in high school, you know, you see like people are always, you know, trying to get into relationships or whatever that, you know, they'll never last. They say they'll last, but they won't. Or just hookups and shit, like, it's such a waste of time. You could be doing so many more things bettering yourself, you know, trying to make money. Because at the end of the day, who's gonna give a fuck, you know, that you are you went to all these parties, out with all these girls, like it really doesn't matter, you know? I've had my fair share in high school and shit, but like, do I really like reminisce on that? Not really, like I did maybe right after uh, it happened, maybe during COVID, but like looking back, it's only been a couple years. It's like, sure, maybe I made a few memories, but like I could have been doing a lot better things early on, right? And that would have been, better for me now that's something else i advise on you know if looking back on like i said before if looking back on high school are your glory days like that's like oh what you're gonna remember for the rest of your life that's sad you should be advancing every single year advancing to become better advancing to make more money advancing you know to build your brand and and do all these things first and then enjoy that experience because with that experience it's not like you go party and then the next day you got to go to a nine to five and maybe you enjoy doing that like i said before some people enjoy it some people don't but I'm talking to the people who are like-minded like me. Anyways, that's gonna conclude the video. That's what I would tell myself in high school. Those are the things. Be better, you know, be better than you were yesterday. Keep grinding, keep pushing, strive for a better tomorrow. It's a beautiful day out. It's about to be nine o'clock, finishing this video, 9 a.m. in the morning. Just finished up a great, you know, track, cardio run. I did some calisthenic shit, you know, try to get back into it. Learn some handstands, handstand walks, just, you know. I want to get into that. Um, I just bought some wooden rings, actually. So I'm going to do some, like, muscle-ups and crazy shit like that. Ice bath I bought. 
I just bought a whole bunch of things, you know, recently. Uh, I want to add some cool things to put in my videos and shit. But yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching the first video. Uh, I I want to I want to do some some talking videos like this. Maybe I'll do some shit in like the ice baths, just talking and stuff, or just outside. I like doing like outside shit. Uh, this is the car video I'm doing today. You know, just a little little chat. Um, hope you enjoyed the first video. Maybe I'll do like a gym vlog next time or whatever. I am doing a gym vlog actually next Monday. I'm recording it for my boy Yamasaki. I'll play his Instagram right here. Check him out. Sick dude, he does some crazy content. I'm recording him for that on Monday and it'll come out Wednesday next week. Check that out. Um, I'll, I'll appear in the video, we'll do some workouts and some crazy shit. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the first video. And you know, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, share. Do all that fun shit. I really appreciate it. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I actually got a Twitter too. I just, you know, speak whatever's on my mind. So if you want to check that out, check that out. And let me know if, you know, you want to see more videos like this or what kind of videos you want to see. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next video. Peace out.